We've received a couple of queries recently about the use of the plant schedule tool in GK Plus when you're looking at working with a series of designs and you're going to give your clients some options. So if we look here, here are a couple of options for the development of what is quite a large site. Let's come back to model space and if you create a plant schedule and you've got in this case three different versions of the design then when we run the plant schedule it's going to count by the way it's not the the plants are not yet tagged completely this one's just you plant small tree number 16 but when you go to count it's going to count the plant schedule will count the number in each of the these three options and one of the queries we've had is how do you calculate the size of text in the plant schedule and how do you avoid counting over the three individual designs or well, we can let's work first with how do you avoid counting at the moment Pinus nigra this particular symbol here notice that your plant schedule is inside a block uh, we have 140 of them so the way to deal with it say let's say we only want to have we're going to work on the design showing in the left here and I'll scroll out a little further the way to deal with that is just to grab everything here in fact you could put your selection set around both of those alternatives just a temporary thing create a block and there's an awful lot of symbols in it we'll just call it tt03 and for a pick point just mark somewhere in the middle and we'll ok that now gcad plus won't recognize or count any symbols inside that temporary block so let's zoom in on our so here's our plant schedule remember 140 now we've taken those two designs out of the equation and so we can go update the plant schedule and I hope that we see a big reduction in the number of instances of Pinus nigra. And there we are, 48. So that's how to avoid that unnecessary count. And of course it's very easy just to restore things once it's established by exploding. And we can now work if we want on those other areas. So you can create a schedule for each design if you want in that way. The other question we've had is how do you calculate the size of text when you're drawing the plant schedule? First thing to notice is format and text styles. Notice here the height is set at 2.5 um, or Roman S is set at height 0. I prefer to set that at 0. That means it's a variable height which is really what we want here. So uh, where our text style is set and now we can run the schedule let's just run the standard schedule and we're asked the first question we're asked is what is the height now I've set it at 1500 why have I chosen 1500 well the answer is if we come in here here's our floating viewport of this design and it's 
view scale is 500. So 500 times 3 is 1500. That's going to give me text height of 3 millimeters on this sheet, and that's what I want. So just multiply the scale factor in your floating viewport by your desired text final text height in millimeters and that will give you the height that you need to set in running that plan schedule. So I hope that covers a couple of aspects of reasonably sophisticated aspects of doing the plant schedule in GCAT Plus.